Praise the Lord, saints. At this time, our own teacher, Ronnie DeVoe, will come with the 100th song. Jesus is the light of the world, and he 
shining in my soul. Go ahead and put your hands together for your master and your king, for your Lord and your Savior. Oh God, for Jesus is the light of the world. This morning, our scripture meditation will come from none other than Minister Antoinette Simmons. Let the church say, Amen. Sister Jeannie Mae Bryant, for our own trustee Melvin McFall, for Mother Estelle Dawson, for Mother Ossie Greer, for Brother Wendell Gunn, for Teesia Evans, for Mother Ethel Lee Russell, for Reverend Jerome Chambers, for Reverend Mother Florence Hudgens, for every member affiliated and associated church of and with the Metropolitan Spiritual Churches of Christ. And for you, you and you, wherever you find yourself this morning, for you we are praying. At this time, our morning inv uh, invocation will be given by none other than Archbishop Paul Teal. Let the church turn their mind towards the Lord. Amen? Amen. Our Father, our Father, which are in heaven. We come this morning, Lord, thanking you for being so good to us. Yes. You've been better to us than we've been to ourselves. And we just say thank you. Thank you, thank you Lord. Well, oh, Heavenly Father, we pray that you bless your people here, there, and everywhere. Oh, Father God, let us look to the hills that cometh our help, because we know all our help cometh from the Lord. Oh, Heavenly Father, bless this church, bro. Bless all the churches that are open in the name of Jesus. And Father God, get into the service today. Touch our pastor, Lord. Touch the choir, Lord. Let the angels come down, Lord, and administer them to them. And Father God, this blesses together and blesses apart. Now these blessings we ask in the blessed name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. He was there. He was 
Again, that's 402-214-9373. Or we are in service right now. You can drive your funds up and plant your seed right here in this ground. Our finance committee is standing by at the door. For those of you in the building, you're now up under the hands of our ushers.
Love and Peace broadcast friends, thank you again for tuning in to the Spiritual Worship Experience from the Mount Calvary Community Church here in Omaha, Nebraska, where our bishop is Kevin Devon Chambers, and he is our senior pastor. We encourage you to share this Facebook broadcast right now. M3C, these are your morning announcements. This is still our year of recovery. The Center of Disease Control and Prevention is working to help keep you and your community safe from the threat of coronavirus. Take the following steps every day to help avoid the spread of respiratory viruses. Please wash your hands often with soap and water for at least 20 seconds. Cover your cough or sneezes with a tissue. Uh, throw the tissue away and then wash your hands for at least 20 seconds. Avoid touching your eyes, your nose, or your mouth. Clean and disinfect frequently touched objects and surfaces. Avoid close contact with people who are sick. Stay home if you are sick and watch services online. Be advised, COVID-19 transmission risk is extremely high. For COVID-19 vaccine information, please visit the Douglas County website at www.douglascountyhealth.com. Uh, this is next uh, announcement is for the presidents and vice presidents. There is a meeting at 6 p.m. on Thursday uh, we ask that all presidents and vice presidents meet with Lady Charity at that time. Also at 7 p.m. will be the mass choir rehearsal. We're asking everyone to come out uh, that is possible, that, will, uh, that is a member of the choir, or who would like to join the choir. Amen? Amen. We are celebrating the following birthdays. Uh, Taja Martin, I don't want to mispronounce that, Taja Martin, Anastasia Nelson, Aldrin Thompson, Anita Bass, Pamela Warner, Minister Bernard Turnbull Jr., and Michelle Anderson. We pray that each and every, yes, it's all right to clap. Amen. We pray that each and every last one of you have many happy returns. Patricia Mars. Patricia Mars as well. Amen. Okay. Uh, Jackson Hewitt Tax Services. Want to earn extra money? Give yourself the potential to earn. Learn tax preparation. Call 402-393-1040. The address is 604 South 72nd Street, right here in Omaha, Nebraska. Their zip code is 68114. Likewise, Word on Wednesday will continue this week with bi uh, our Bible study. Uh, will be broadcast via Facebook Live at 7 p.m. Please come out, sir and ma'am. The series is entitled Holy Spirit Fall Fresh on Me. Again, that was Holy Spirit Fall Fresh on Me. The doors will open for 6 p.m. for co uh, corporate prayer. Amen? Amen. Uh, members of the Ecclesiastical Board, please see Lady Charity for your 2021 licenses. You will receive your license when she collects your obligation. Amen? Uh, also, for those ministers and teachers, all DISC assessments are due by 7 p.m. tonight. These assessments will be, uh, have been sent to your emails respectively. It is strongly recommended that you do not miss this deadline. Uh, also, please uh, make sure that you send those results to Bishop's email directly, the same email that he sent those to you. The Dollar Day Consecration. We are asking each member to lay aside one dollar per day as a consecration unto the Lord. There are 365 days in this year, 2021. That's right, $365 of consecration will go towards the Lord. They will be placed on the altar during watch night service. You can begin to bring your gifts to the church today, or you can do so via Cash App, or by calling the trustee office directly at 402-457-4216. One of the trustees are standing by. The thought of the week, don't go under because you refuse to put on your life preserver. Many while waiting cried for help, but, it, but when it came, they questioned its color, the size, and the quantity, as well as the quality. 
Don't drown because you misidentified the life preserver. The life preserver is Jesus. Please remember to pray for the sick, the shunning, and the bereaved. We all need the Lord. This is Mount Calvary Community Church, a spiritual church where the community is in the heart of the church and the heart of the church is in the community. We are conveniently located at 5112 Ames Avenue here in Omaha, Nebraska. Our zip code is 68104. We sit on the hill nestled between the Super Walmart and the Wells Fargo Bank. You are always welcome to join us at this, our 11 a.m. Sunday morning worship experience, and again on Wednesday at 7 p.m. for Word on Wednesday, as well as 6 p.m. on Wednesday for our corporate prayer. This church is pastored by His Grace, the Most Reverend Bishop Kevin Javon Chambers, and as he has taught us, we are the biggest little church in Omaha, Nebraska. If you have been spiritually uplifted by this worship experience, we invite you to call our office and give your testimony at 402-453-4084. That is 402-453-4084. Please stay connected to us by visiting our website, which is www.m3comaha.org. Romans 10, 13 through 15 says, For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. How then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe in him in whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? And how shall they preach except they be sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of them that preach this gospel. After our music department comes in song, the next speaking voice you will hear is that of our beloved pastor and lead servant, the most reverend Bishop Kevin Javon Chambers. Let's give it up for our choir as they come at this time.
worship with the Mount Calvary Community Church. We are the biggest little church right here in Omaha, Nebraska, and we are always gracious, amen, to come where you are since you can't be right where we are. Amen. Won't, won't those of you in the sanctuary just give God praise for our viewers? Y'all can do better than that. We got some skin folk and some kin folk in Haiti. They solicit our prayers. And we're praying for all of our brothers and sisters on the eastern seaboard this morning that are standing in the midst of a storm. Hallelujah. I mean, oh God is able to do all things. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Even in the midst of a storm. You've been there. He'll keep you in the midst of, of trouble. Hallelujah. 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 Happy birthday, Sister Martin. I'm so glad to see you in the sanctuary today. Praise the Lord. Lest I forget, I need people, as many as can, to go with me next Sunday to the Pleasant Green Baptist Church, 5555 Larimore Avenue at 3 o'clock as they celebrate the burning of their mortgage. Amen. Somebody shout, God be it. Y'all ain't clapping, come on. Who you can pay for this building? God did. God did. So let's celebrate with those who celebrate and mourn with those who mourn. Amen. Because this is going to be a celebration. Amen. Amen. We want to be friendly and show ourselves to be friends to the Pleasant Green Baptist Church. Amen. Amen. That's 55 people back there. More Pastor Brian E. Page. Amen. Our friend and our brother. Let us call our attention the next few weeks. Uh, we want to entertain, God bless you, Brother Panford, Sister Betty, we want to entertain Gina and Brian, God bless you. Amen. Amen. We talked about you yesterday. Praise the Lord. Reverend Hudgens called, she said, uh, Pastor, they're going to let me preach for the first time in a year. And we went over her sermon notes. I said, you writing this down? She said, no, I can't write all this down. I'm taking it in, you know. I'm going to have on my white robe. Is it okay? And she gave me her subject. Is it okay? I said, you got to preach what God say preach. You can't ask me, is it okay? But it's all good to me. So we're praising God for Reverend Hudgens today. Amen. Amen. Who's preaching and has always preached to the residents in the Life Care Center, Omaha, Nebraska. Amen. Mount Calvary is everywhere, y'all. That's how you see that. That's, a, that's another sanctuary of Mount Calvary. Praise the Lord. Amen. Reverend Hutchins is the campus pastor. That's how you got to see that. Amen. Amen. We are going to entertain this sermon series the next few weeks. That life's too short. Look at your neighbor's neighbor. Life's too short. See, we have so many things that we so uh, uh, in. My grandma would call it ecclesiastic about. We get enthusiastic. That's what she used. Ecclesiastic. Uh, we get so enthusiastic with stuff that means so little. And we harp on the stuff that's little and we forget about the major stuff. And we're not realizing that life is too short. Y'all got grudges with each other. Your whole animosity in your heart with each other. And then you wait till they lay out in front of the church and talk about how this and that they were. I won't say good, but you know, some of y'all gonna just tell the truth. I didn't like her, but I, I didn't like him. 
but I'm glad, I'm, I'm sad they're gone. You know, or oh, I'm glad they're gone, you know, either way. Life is too short to be all of these things with people and not give credence to the power of God, that the same God who delivered you can deliver them. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Let's call our attention to Genesis chapter 19. Genesis chapter 19. We're going to begin our reading at verse number 24 and a few following verses. Prayerfully, I mess up some of your theology today. Let me hear you say, caught up when you're there. This is Genesis chapter 19, verse number 24, and we'll read down to verse 26. And it reads thusly, Lord, help me preach today. Then the Lord, who did it? The Lord. The Lord rained upon Sodom and upon Gomorrah brimstone and fire from the Lord out of where? Heaven. Out of heaven. Hallelujah. And he overthrew those cities and all the plain and all the inhabitants of the cities and that which grew upon the ground. But, somebody shout but. But, but his wife this is Lot's wife now, looked back from behind him and she became a pillar of salt. You may be seated in the presence of our God so far, the scripture. Just for a few moments, I want to preach from this thought, life's too short to look back. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, life's too short to look back. Look back. Father, we thank you for your word. Hide Kevin Javon behind your cross that you alone be glorified. Let the devil and hell be horrified. Now, God, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. For God, you are my strength and you are my redeemer. And all of God's people said amen. amen. And thank God. Uh, Genesis comes to us with 50 chapters. There are 1,533 verses, and you'll find here 38,267 words in its entirety. But Lot's wife, verse 26, she looked back from behind him, and she became a pillar of salt. Track and field is an interesting sport. I've testified a few times, even my closing at several funerals, my closing is my, my experience when I ran cross country for the world renowned, okay really, the state of Illinois re renowned Leo High School. That was Pope Leo the 13th, by the way, the best high school in all of Illinois. I used to enjoy watching the races. And I didn't like all of the other things that happened uh, but if you understand track and meet, uh, track and field meets, there are simultaneous things going on at the same time. Yeah. If you ran cross country, you could not relay run. If you did the relay run, you could not shot put because they were all going on at the same time, at the same place. Now, uh, the relay race is of high importance and interest to me because it's not just an ordinary race. And I could never get it, so they just put me on cross country and just let me run how I ran. They're ready to preach. Uh -huh. Now to be a relay runner, to be effective, you have to be able to run without paying attention to anyone to your right or to your left. So of course I couldn't do that because I was just always nosy. And then I want to know why you're running as fast as I am. Or how you get to run faster than me. Except Gene Erner, who always came in last. Uh, but when you relay run, you, you, you cannot uh, pay attention 
to what's going on. And so, uh, uh, and every every good coach will tell you, uh, 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 as a relay runner, uh, you you must never ever do Bishop Teal, and you must never look back. Amen. Lord, help me preach. Yes, sir. Because looking back does not breed optimum performance. There's an old saying in the track world that says you hit the ground running or you get left behind. Looking behind uh, influences you uh, psychologically and physically. And it'll cause you, first lady, to lose your focus, to lose your concentration, and you can endanger the outcome of the race. And so they teach you uh, how to run the relay race and to receive the baton from behind you without ever turning around. Yeah, yeah. Y'all with me? You don't turn around to see what's coming or who's coming. You just stand there in position and when it hits your hand, you take off running. But if you look back, mm. you lose focus. Yeah. You lose concentration. Yeah. You endanger the outcome of the race. Somebody shout, looking back. Looking back. So I come to suggest that as we are in this sermon series, that while we observe this another Lord's day, that there is a looking back that can be detrimental to your health. There is a looking back that can be detrimental to your spiritual growth. Y'all with me? Yeah. Your job today, August uh, in 2021, is to not look back. Your, your job, let me, let me, your job this Sunday, August, is it 22nd? 2021, is to hit the ground running or get left behind. Because looking back can affect you psychologically and physically and cause you to lose focus, lose your concentration, and endanger the outcome of your blessing. Yeah. And this race that you're running called life. And so as we open the pages of the Bible, and we are now near the finish line of the destruction of the surrounding cities of Sodom, and Gomorrah. Now this, this story is famous, not just because of the manner and the way that it's been preached, but this story is famous because it shows that God does have the capacity to disrupt, to overturn, and to destroy cities and Most of you and myself have heard this preach incorrectly for a long time. Lord, give me strength. You thought that Sodom and Gomorrah was destroyed because of homosexuality. All right. And lesbianism. Uh, Lot is the nephew of Abraham. Moses had not been born yet. Yeah. And so if Moses had not been born yet, there was no law given All right. against homosexuality. So Sodom and Gomorrah was not destroyed because of their sexual sins. All right. Lord Jesus. Verse 20 of the previous chapter suggests to us possibly what happened. Because it says there are many complaints against Sodom and Gomorrah. And their sin is very serious. 
He has decided that the sin of the residents has been so great that the destruction of the five cities must now come to pass. What was their sin, Bishop? Their sin was they were not his hospitable. All right. Yeah. Amen. They did not have good manners. Yeah. They had poor hospitality. All right. Y'all ain't liking me today. Yeah. It's the truth. Abraham has now chosen to go to God to pray for the sparing of the cities. And he gets the Lord to agree to spare them if ten righteous people can be found. The sad news here is that out of the entire metropolitan area is that ten righteous people that that, that you can find 10 people who have a real right relationship with God. 10 people who worship and praise. 10 people who made up in their minds for God I live and for 10 people who know that God is great and greatly to be praised. 10 people that don't mind and don't, 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 don't have no, 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 no issue with giving God glory and praise. It's sad that out of, out, of, out of all of these cities that he couldn't even find ten righteous people. Well, David says there is none righteous. No, not one. You know, so so my brothers and my sisters, before before you make judgment upon these cities, you know, Sodom and Gomorrah, the question for you to ponder this day is: Can God find ten in Omaha? Is there 10 righteous people in Omaha? Can, can the Lord find 10 in North Omaha? Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, that might be, that's too big. Can, can God find 10 people in Mount Calvary yeah. Community Church yeah. this morning? Not, not on the road, but can, can he find 10 in the room right now? If, if God's wrath were kindled against Omaha, uh, La Vista, Bellevue, Council Bluffs, uh, Kansas City, Platte City, with so much sin and crime, can God find ten that will serve him and him alone? Lord, I love you today. So Abraham's nephew Lot and his family and his wife and his two daughters are visited by these messengers from God. And they came to bring him and them a word from the Lord. And so this text is interesting, not just because of the fleshly desires of the residents of the men of the city. This text is interesting because of the provisions of God. Mm. My brothers and my sisters, God has a way of getting you out of the mess you find yourselves in. Now the order from glory was that the city was to be destroyed. But Lot found something. Lot, beloved, found grace in the eyesight of God. His, his surroundings were about to be destroyed your pastor. Look at me. I'm your teacher today. God had mercy on me. That's why I'm here today. Yeah. Somebody here ought to be able to testify about the mercies of God. It, it could have been you in that car wreck. It could have been you in that shootout last night. It could have been you next door over there at Rhodos. But the mercies of God mercies of God are demonstrated to Lot and his family. No, 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 no. Lot was not a perfect man. No, no, no. Matter of fact, he demonstrates another side of himself while he's under pressure. Yeah. 
when the men of the city came to have their way with his visitors from glory. Come on, yeah. He does what few fathers would do. You, you, you don't want my, my, my visitors. Come on, take my daughters. Have, have them. Have your way with my girls. And then he lied and said, they're virgins. He told a bold face was alive. Well, you remember when they went to Pharaoh's house and Sarah was so beautiful to look upon and he said, listen, listen, when we get to Pharaoh's house, uh -huh. tell them you're my sister. Uh -huh. Don't tell them you're my wife. Now, it, it was a truth and a lie. Because yes, they were brother and sister. Same daddy, different moms. Read your Bible. <laughs> so lying was in his DNA. He came from a whole family of lies. And he had offers, offers, he volunteers, or he voluntold his daughters to go on outside and let them have your, their way with you. No, 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 that's not perfect. He, he's not a picture of complete rational thinking. But what he does have right here in this moment, in this text, what he has right here is the grace of God on his life. Yeah. 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 Thank you for the grace. Goodness rendered at Christ's expense. He, he has that on his life even now. And so these angels from the Lord, these, these messengers from the Lord, brings a message and gives them specific instructions. Look at verse 17. It says, number one, run for your life. Look at your neighbor. neighbor. Run for your life. The second thing the angels tell them to do is don't look back. Uh -huh. Look at your other lips and neighbor, don't look back. Don't look back. And the third thing he says to them, Mother Miles, is don't stay in the area. All right. All right. Lord, I love you. Now these instructions have a caveat because if, if you don't run for your life, if you do look behind you, if you stay in the area, you will be consumed. Uh -huh. I think your Bible says swept away. And so the angels of the Lord, somebody shout the angels. The angels, the angels escort them to the edge of the city uh -huh. and Lot chooses to relocate in a place called Zoar. Now Zoar, like Sodom and like Gomorrah, is on the list to be destroyed by God. But Lot pleads for the city to be spared and says, just spare so are so that I can live and start all over again. My pastor told us, you can begin again. Because rock bottom don't mean nothing to God because God made the rock. And God agreed. My sisters and my brothers, I'm almost done. Um, I don't want to bore you, but that's, that's the kind of prayer life I want to have. Uh -huh. I want to have that kind of prayer life that, that God will spare what could have happened to me. Well, yes. I want to pray that when you ask me, say, Bishop, I got to go for a procedure tomorrow, and I want to be able to just pray and ask God, God, let them, let them, let them don't have to do no surgery tomorrow. Let, let, let it be healed already before they go in. I want to have that kind of prayer life. I want to be able to talk to God and have results happen immediately. Y'all understand yeah, that to me? Yeah. 
I, I know I know my body needs surgery, but God can heal my body. God, I, I need to get out of the situation. I'm praying, God, change my heart. Fix my mind to accept the things that I cannot change and the wisdom to know the difference. God, I know my kids are horrible. The candidates for juvenile hall. Hallelujah, but God, I decree and declare, I see college graduates. I, I see, uh, they go in the court, but I see them on the other side as the judge. I see my child as the lawyer. Y'all ain't saying that to me. God, you can turn things around. You can make cancer quit, diabetes die. Uh, you can make dementia forget, husbands hush, children calm down, wives mellow, men supervise, give you a good evaluation, and like Reverend Moore, give you a brand new promotion on a brand new job. God can have mercy on your situation. So they make this night long trip into Zohar. Now, Zohar is interesting because the name Zohar means insignificant. All right. My brothers and my sisters, can I say something to you? What may be insignificant to you may mean the whole world to somebody else. My wife may not look all that good to you fellas, but that's all right. She's the best thing smoking for me. This church may seem insignificant to the world, uh -huh. but to us, oh, yeah. 5112 Ames means everything. Yeah. The, the Christ word may seem insignificant to the world, but to us, it is life changing. Yeah. Yeah. My shouting and my dancing may seem insignificant to you, but to me, it's everything. Because you were now when God picked me up from where I was and turned me around. You were there when he rocked me to sleep in the midnight hour. I tried to call you, but you didn't answer your phone. I, I tried to text you, and it came, un it came back undeliverable. And so God had to come by and see about me, Renee, just when I needed him the most. The lifting of my hands may seem insignificant to you, but they told me in the old church, if I can't say a word, I'll just wave my hand. Say yes to your will and yes to your will. A piece of roof over your head is better than no roof at all. A hoopty is better than doing the Flintstone special. Working at McDonald's is better than having no job at all. Don't right. no, say nothing to me. Yeah. So God, God begins the destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah and the cities that surround it. Four cities in all. And the order is still valid to Lot and his family. Run for your life. Uh -huh. Don't look back. And don't stay in the area. Lot did it. His oldest daughter did it. His London did it. But his wife, as she was standing behind her husband, she turned around and she looked back. Life's too short to look back. But you got to give some respect to Lot's wife. We, we challenge her in the looking back, like, girl, what was wrong with you? God and his messages came to deliver you. Why in the whole heebie-jeebies would you turn around and look back? She grocery shopped over there. She went bowling over there. Mm -hmm. 
She did arts and crafts with the ladies back there. Her children went to school back there. They got married back back there. Y'all listen to me. Look, 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 look closely at the text because I, I used to think that when the Bible says she turned around and looked back that she turned her neck. But the truth of the matter is she did a whole turnaround. How do I say goodbye to what we had? The good times that made us laugh our way to bad. I thought we'd get to see forever, but forever has gone away. It's so hard to say goodbye to yesterday. So, so, so she, with the, what the Hebrew word is, is shaw or not back. So in Hebrew, she did a whole not back. She turns completely around. Not just a look, but she stuck in the moment where she is. And she begins to regard and to pay attention to the very thing that God said not to do. Run for your life. Don't look back. And don't stay in the area. My sisters and my brothers, if, if there is a wrong way to look back, then there must be a right way to look back. I'm getting out your way, I promise you. When, 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 God, when God has delivered you from a situation, that's the, not the time to show regard and pay attention to all of the things that he delivered you from. It's time now to ignore it and move on and move forward. Yeah, the pains of July are gone. Come on. They, they are now history. The pains of yesterday is gone. It's now history. And somebody said when, when, when something is history, you're the only one who can make them lose. Oh my goodness. Remember when? No, I, I don't remember when. Because death and life are in the power of the tongue. And, and so you get to learn how to speak life. Uh, and speak living and let the dead uh, stay dead. Look at your neighbor, neighbor. Let the dead stay dead. Let the dead. And so if God delivered you, yeah, don't spend your time thinking about yeah, how many joints you used to roll. Come on here. Yeah, if God has delivered you, yeah, don't think about how many, how many times you stole from others. Uh, don't look back. Yeah, don't consider yeah, neither get caught up in the past uh, because if there's a bad way to look back yeah, there must be a good way to look back yeah. and so instead of dwelling on the things uh, that you were delivered from yeah, it's time yeah, to dwell yeah, on the mercies yeah, of the deliverer yeah. let me tell you something yeah, that the angels uh, were not the deliverer uh, the deliverer, huh? he used them huh, in the deliverance process. Huh? But I'm going to focus huh, on the one huh, who brought me through. Huh? Is there anybody here huh, that can join me huh, in focusing huh, and not looking back huh, and see huh, the hand of God huh, that's on my life? Huh? He brought me, huh, yes, huh, from a mighty long way. Yeah. He brought me yeah. when I didn't have a dime. Yeah. He brought me yeah. when I was sick. Yeah. I said he brought me yeah. when I had pain yeah. all in my body. Yeah. I don't know about you yeah. but life is too short yeah. to dwell on yeah. what I used to do yeah. and to dwell on yeah. what I used to be. Yeah. Life is too short yeah. to dwell on uh, what I could have been uh, but I have just enough time uh, to tell God thank you uh, thank you for your grace uh, thank you for your mercy uh, thank you for your love uh, thank you for protection uh, thank you for keeping me uh, when I didn't have the ability uh, to keep my own crazy self uh, I could have been dead uh, in my grave uh, yes Lord uh, but the Lord uh, I said but the Lord uh, he allowed my moments uh, to roll on uh, just a little while longer. Uh, and so right here uh, and right where I stand, uh, I give God uh, all the glory. 
praise. I give God all the praise. Thank you for being so good to me. Thank you for allowing your son to die on the cross in my place. He died. Yes. I say he died. Didn't he die? He stayed dead all Friday night. He stayed dead all Saturday night. But With all power in his hands. Give the Lord is your shepherd. Give the Lord been keeping you. You ought to thank him right here. And praise him right now. He's a rock in a weary land. Yes. He's sheltered in a time of storm. He's a friend to the friendless. He's a mother to the motherless. The father to the fatherless, and life is too short to worry about yesterday. But right now, God, I give you glory. Right now, I give you praise. Right now, I say, right now, I find your neighbor and say, neighbor, right now is the time to praise God. Because life is too short to stop what you're doing right now. Look at that. But when I look back over my life and I think things over, I can truly say that I've been blessed. Right today, I have a testimony that God's been good to me. The tallest tree in paradise, the Christians called it the tree of life. My soul looks back. I don't look back. But my soul looks back. And it just wonders how I got over. Not by might, nor by power, but it's by my spirit. Say of God. Would y'all give God praise today? Hallelujah. Because life is too short, J. Ma, to ponder on yesteryear. What's done is done. What has happened has already happened. I can't correct the past, but I can live for God today and give Him the best praise that I can. Hallelujah. Is there anybody in the room that has a praise? Hallelujah. Many things are seen and unseen. God brought us safely to where we are. Who would serve a God as great as our God? He's a wonder, y'all. In my soul. He's a wonder today. Is there one today who's listening to me by, the, by way of uh, Facebook and YouTube or you're here in the room and you want to join this church? I want to be your pastor. If you're here, would you come now? Ministers, y'all can come back. The doors of the church are open.
our praise and glory. Know that God will take care. And praise God even as we've been online. My uncle, who couldn't make it the other Sunday, is, was in the hospital, rushed to the hospital. He's watching us today. God bless your uncle. Reverend Jerome Chambers, Sr. We give God praise and glory for you, man. Hallelujah. Right in this moment, there's a man right now. His name is Wendell. Brother Gunn. Oh, 
song.
Mrs. Carr, Kansas City, Missouri. Praise God.
bless you, Gina May. Hallelujah. All this well. to the family of Mount Calvary Community Church by way of Christian Experience, Brittany Key, Destiny Key, Tristan Key, and Bryson Key. And Bishop Chambers, that beautiful lady is my wife, and Lord, we welcome you to Mount Calvary. Amen. I love the Lord. Come on, all this way on.
bless you, Sister Henderson. We see you. God bless you for tuning in.